a blues. This is um, once again, there's numbers. Okay, I just did a blues in E. So uh, what happens here is that if I'm playing um, an E chord, there it is. There, that's one. You go up the scale. Back to E, back to the one. Then uh, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B is a B7. Back to A, do an A7 there. Two bars, back to E for two bars. One each on B, then A, back to E. And back to five if you're going to do it again, but if not, you finish on it. I hope you got something out of that. And then what happens is you've got a few licks you can do. You see, there's a few different things. You've got the, the typical... Seven, the Hendrix chord, a lot of people call that. A7 there, or there. Come back down. B7. Now these are my little bunch of licks that you can do, but one of the things that you want to do is have a bit of variety. So there's the E there. You can make an E here, there's A here, there's also A there as a bar chord, and so on. You want to put them all in. By the time you've done it, you want to try and get as much as you can. Now part of the part of a blues is you want the, the scale, and uh, the main scale for that is a minor pentatonic, um, which I'll pretty much leave for another lesson at some point. But suffice to say that if you're going to do it in E, it's two notes per string, so it's open third. Open second, open second, open second. Open three, open three. also uh, a little thing called the sliding pentatonic scale so like the simplest way to actually explain this is that you have your minor pentatonic here uh, root note uh, minor third flat third fourth fifth flat seven octave and you do it over two over the whole thing so I almost feel silly explaining it it's um, one of the most well-known scales in the world and of course, um, that's what it is. You know, it's one of the most used, um, one of the most beloved, and all that sort of stuff. But sometimes it's surprising that people don't know what it is, and that's how the, the sound that you get. But what you want to do is make sure that if you're going to learn something from low to high like that on the guitar, on a physical thing, you also want to learn it that way. So what happens is you can have this. do with that 
kebab in your hand. Let's do the time, same chords. Let's do the same chords. <laughs> That's something about the minor pentatonic. And also the cycle of fifths for another time. There you go. Hope you got something out of that. <laughs> Two minute tip. Here we go. Okay. When you play a single stroke roll for the very first time, okay, it's usually just which is fantastic when you see a brand new student, you know, coming in and going, oh, love the drums. And then of course you use, you know, you get the kids to use the right uh, grip, uh, whether it be matched or traditional, you know, teach them both, all that sort of stuff, and all that, and then you get the evenness and it's like a smooth flow. You get this smooth flow like that. And whether it be finger control and all of this sort of business, that's fine. But what goes on is that at some point you want a pulse. And the thing is, when you're dealing with a pulse in music, when you're just doing a single stroke roll like this, like, can I have a drum roll, please? That's like a straight line, okay? And what happens is, I often say to my students, you want a pulse in there. You want to think in groups of threes or fours, even fives and sixes and stuff. So the, the most common kind of thing is a group of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, you can call it an accent if you want, but you could call it more like a pulse. Right? Now, there's that accent there. What's happening is I just went from four to six sex tuplets, but that straight line now is now like a little heartbeat, you know, like da 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 da. Now here in lays, um, how you can hook onto a metronome, okay, or an even pulse, you see, because even if you're doing say something like fives, you're still going to get a beat. I'm going to go a little bit further. So if I was doing that, they're tens to a beat, you see? So there's just something there for a start, the pulse and all that. There's your two-minute tip. Oh, actually, it was two minute and ten seconds. There you go. Hope you got something out of that.